This video will demonstrate how to configure the order in which a user can tab through fields in a Maximo application. For this, I will be using the Rules Manager Developer Perspective in TRM's Rules Manager Studio. I can configure a different order for different users, groups of users, or even sites and orgs. This demonstration will be a global configuration. First, let's examine the work order tracking application as it comes out of the box. I can open Maximo in a web browser by right-clicking on my connection in the Server Explorer on the left and selecting the Open with Internet Browser option. Navigating to my work order tracking application, I will create a new record. And notice my default focus is on my work order number. I will press Tab and see that my order follows the vertical ordering of the fields on the page. For my example, I will start my focus with my priority, then move to work type, then failure class, then problem code, and so on. This will meet my business needs. To create a focus order rule, I will right click on my rule explorer on the left and select the record rule option. I will then program my app's main object work order, then my app, and then select my focus order event. Clicking finish will open my focus order editor. Our other tutorials can show you how to automatically generate and expel spreadsheet of this documentation. Selecting the button open app wizard at the bottom of the editor will allow me to visually determine the order I want users to tab through fields. As you can see, this gives me a visual representation of my work order tracking application. I can then just click the order I want fields to be tabbed through and their order number will appear next to the field in blue. Priority is my first field. Work type is my second. Failure class is my third. Problem code is my fourth. I will then just add location and then asset for good measure. Hitting OK. When I am done, I can see in my editor the control IDs which I selected and the order I selected the fields in. I will save my editor and tell the server to refresh its rules. Now I can go back to my application in the web browser and verify my rule is working. Creating a new record, I can see that my first focus is now priority. I will fill that in and tab to my next field, which is now work type, and then failure class, and so on. My rule has been verified. This functionality works for all versions of Maximo from six and higher. And I am currently demonstrating this on Maximo version 7.5. You can see more on this type of configuration by visiting our other tutorials. Please visit our website and contact us if you'd like further demonstration of this or other functionality that comes with TRM's Rules Manager.